Temperatures are dropping here, but things are heating up in Florida, and the Yankees and Mets get ready for the upcoming season. Otis Livingston hopped in a car and took the trip from the Yankees in Tampa to check out on the Mets in Port St. Lucie, and he joins us now live there with more. Glad to see you made it safely, Otis. Yeah, we certainly did, Christine and Maurice, come from Tampa. But one of the main topics of conversation over there was waiting for us here in Port St. Lucie. And that's, of course, the Houston Astros sign-stealing scandal. As two of the former players who were on the 40-man roster that won the World Series in 2017 chose to apologize for taking part in the elaborate deception. They are members of the 2020 Mets, but they're still talking about 2017. It's a story that has legs because many players from that World Series winning Astros team are in other clubhouses now. For the Mets, there are two of them, outfielders Jake Marisnik and J.D. Davis. After the Astros owner offered that ill-fated apology yesterday, both players apologized today and said a line was certainly crossed. You definitely knew something was going too far, and uh, I think that's where... Um, as a as a person that was there to not speak up i think is something and, and talk on it is not is something that uh, i definitely regret you know everybody that's part of the 2017 astros you know it's um you know they feel regrettable about that decision you feel you know ashamed a part of it it's been a tumultuous off season for the mess to say the least carlos beltran was the manager for a few months but was fired because of his leading role in the houston scandal and then the team was almost sold to billionaire Steve Cohen, but that fell through recently. Even Alex Rodriguez was rumored as a potential buyer today. So 38-year-old Luis Rojas is at the helm as manager now, and it's his job to steer the ship through the storm. They said that you are unflappable, you're cool under pressure. Where does that come from and how beneficial is that going to be, especially in New York? Well, I don't know. I, you know, I guess that's just—I guess that's just me. I mean, uh, that's that's probably the best advice I got, and as a uh, coach and as managers, is to be myself always. Louis has such a uh, even keeled attitude. Uh, you know, in, in tough spots, he's he keeps his cool. I think it's going to be interesting. You're not going to see him get get too riled up. You're not going to see him get too excited. Um, and I think that's going to work in, in you know in this crazy market. Rojas also pointed to the fact that he's grown up in the game, that it's in his bloodlines as a huge benefit for dealing with the eventual ups and downs of a season. After all, his father is former big league player and manager Felipe Alou, and he's the brother of former all-star Moises Alou. Coming up later on at 6 o'clock, I'll have much more on the Mets. And what's this? A-Rod interested in buying the Mets? Yeah, the rumor's out there. But for now, reporting live from Port St. Lucie, Florida, Otis Livingston, back to you in the studio. Makes a good story, at least, right? <laughs> Certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly does. All right, Otis. Thank you. We'll talk to you.